Uh, so the next type of inheritance is multi-level inheritance. So about uh, single level inheritance I already discussed uh, in my previous uh, video. So now I am going to discuss about multi-level inheritance. So this is the basic diagram of multi-level inheritance. Uh, so now I am going to give uh, the example of uh, multi-level inheritance. So let's create uh, one new project. Uh, give the name of project multi level underscore inheritance so from uh, namespace let's uh, write the code so first I am going to create uh, one class name first and uh, let's write the definition of first class. I am going to write uh, one simple method name fun1 and uh, inside here I like to use uh, console class with right line method and uh, I am going to print the message and fun1 method in first class. So first uh, class part has been done. So let's uh, copy this first class and change some particular things. So at here, I'm going to change uh, or include at here second, and uh, that will inherit uh, first, and uh, changing the name of. Uh, method and uh, this should be point to so we have to display and uh, now let's uh, create let's paste again and uh, add uh, uh, third will inherit the property of second and uh, uh, I'm going to use or third method and uh, this is third and uh, I used to uh, uh, three levels now if you want then you can increase so let's uh, increase one more uh, level of class so right here uh, this is uh, will be fourth and that will inherit for third and add your right to open four and here to four so there are four clauses uh, I used add there and uh, now let's create uh, the object of uh, every class each and every clause of first F1 equal to new first or second S1 equal to new second or third P1 equal to new third and fourth. F4 equal to new fourth and uh, let's uh, call the method by using the object of class so F1 will call so there is one option or uh, one one option is there because uh, uh, first is the parent class so there are no any or that cannot any inherit any other class so first uh, class is in top level so there inside only uh, uh, one method is there 
one one so that uh, only one one that we call. So for after, sorry, there is so second class for S1. So if I'm using then or S1 is the S1 is the uh, child or uh, class of first, so that to uh, inherit the property of uh, uh, their parent class first and so they own. So S1 dot point here. Now from here, or T1, so that will inherit the property of uh, their or uh, parent class. So let's uh, write console class. There is the mistake there. So that's why your sign. Now console dot red line. So that will take input from the keyboard and after that that will turn it on put windows. So let's so debug the code. So this is the masses that is printed. I'm going to discuss about the way of execution of this program. So first, uh, con if you debug the code, then first control go to uh, main method. After that, that will go inside of main method. So that will find uh, uh, first f1 equal to new first code. So that will create the code of uh, first class, second class, third class, and fourth class. After that, f1 uh, that is the uh, object of uh, first class. So that will call the one one method. So control go to one one method and uh, uh, one one method and after that that will go inside and print all uh, these methods. So after that again control back there and uh, that will control go down. So add there s1 dot one one. So s1 is the object of uh, second class but uh, uh, that to uh, call the forward method because that here uh, second class inherit the property of uh, first class so all the property of first, uh, first class that will go to second class because uh, we are using our uh, column so this is the symbol of inheritance so at here or uh, s1 dot one one so that will call the one one method control go down and again that will print this particular uh, masses i am for one method in first class so here after control again uh, comes to this point 
and uh, after that that will go down s1 dot point two so this time s1 is the object of second class and that will call the point two method so control will go inside and there that will print I am a point two method in first class again uh, control comes to this point and uh, here after that will go uh, down and uh, this time or uh, that find uh, t1 so t1 is the object of third class and that we call fun1 method so fun1 method uh, is in or uh, fun1 method is in first class so right here or uh, class th uh, third inherit, uh, inherit the property of second and or uh, second inherit the property of first so that uh, third uh, class can call the Perman method. So right here, that will control comes there and uh, that will print and Perman method in first class. <coughs> so again, control uh, go uh, down here after D1 dot or uh, point two. So point two method is in second class. Quantum uh, method is in second class, so second class is there. Uh, then uh, second class inherit uh, the property of uh, first. So after that, uh, control comes to their point here. So right here, console dot write line that will uh, print the message. I am quantum method in uh, first class. So like. Uh, Again, that will control go uh, go down, and uh, after that, that will uh, reach at thirty one dot one three, and uh, like this way, uh, program continue, and uh, that will again uh, print uh, that will again uh, call of uh, f four, uh, that is the object of. Uh, uh, fourth class that we call fun one method, fun two method, fun three method, and one four method. After that, uh, when that all be completed, so this will uh, this the uh, this is the output uh, that will uh, this is the output will come, and here after. Uh, after uh, this is the output will come, and here after. This is the code console dot line. So if you enter any keyword from uh, any uh, any input from the keyword, then that will uh, terminate the output string. So this is the way of execution of this program. So thanks for watching. Or uh, leave your comment if you have any doubt. Thank you.